Mushing, Wikipedia article audio. Mushing is a sport or transport method powered by dogs. It includes karting, polka, dog scootering, sled dog racing, ski joring, freighting, and weight pulling. More specifically, it implies the use of one or more dogs to pull a sled on snow or a rig on dry land. Origin of the term History Practice Dog team members Bike joring Dog scootering France was the first European power established in the Canadian Shield, accordingly, the coureurs des bois and the voyagers of New France used the French word march, meaning go or run, to command to the team to commence pulling. March became mush for English Canadians. Mush is rarely used in modern parlance. The practice of using dogs to pull sleds dates back to at least 2000 BC. It originated in Siberia or North America, where many American Indian cultures used dogs to pull loads. In 1534, Jacques Cartier discovered the Gaspé Peninsula and claimed the land in the name of Francis I of France. For the better part of a century the Iroquois and French clashed in a series of attacks and reprisals. That's why Samuel de Champlain arranged to have young French men live with the natives, to learn their language and customs and help the French adapt to life in North America. These men, known as coureurs des bois, were the first European mushers in North America, extended French influence south and west and in 1609, New France controlled all the Canadian shield. In 1680, the Intendant Duchesneau estimated that there was not one family in New France who did not have a son, brother, uncle, or nephew among the coureurs des bois. During the winter, sled became the ordinary transportation in the north of New France. In 1759, the British Army defeated the French at the Battle of the Plains of Abraham and control the Canadian Shield. Many coureurs des bois accepted the British rule and continued to use the sled dog. The French term march becomes mush. In English, during the Klondike Gold Rush, many prospectors came in the Yukon with sled dogs. This last great gold rush has been immortalized by American author Jack London in The Call of the Wild. Sled dog became the common mode of transportation in Yukon and in the new U.S. territory of Alaska. In 1911, Norwegian explorer Roald Amundsen used sled dogs in a race to become the first person to reach the South Pole. He succeeded while his competitor Robert Falcon Scott, who had instead used Siberian ponies, tragically perished. By the time of the First World War, mushing had spread to European countries such as Norway, where dog sleds were used for nature tours, as ambulances in the woodlands and mountains, and to bring supplies to soldiers in the field. During the 1925 Serum Run to Nome, 20 mushers and about 150 sled dogs relayed diphtheria antitoxin 674 miles by dog sled across the U.S. territory of Alaska in five and a half days, saving the small city of Nome and the surrounding communities from an incipient epidemic. Mushing can be utilitarian, recreational, or competitive. Mushing as a sport is practiced worldwide, but primarily in North America, Northern Europe, and the Alps. Racing associations such as the International Federation of Sled Dog Sports and the International Sled Dog Racing Association are working toward organizing the sport and in gaining Olympic recognition for mushing. It is the state sport of Alaska.
the most famous sled dog races in the world are. Although dog sled racing gets more publicity and is seen now as the primary form of mushing, recreational mushing thrives as an unorganized sport providing healthy outdoor form of winter exercise for families. Mushing for utilitarian purposes includes anything from hauling wood or delivering milk or the mail to rural travel and equipment hauling. Dogs have been replaced by snowmobiles in many places, but some trappers and other isolated users have gone back to sled dogs, finding them safer and more dependable in extreme weather conditions. Dog team members are given titles according to their position in the team relative to the sled. These include leaders or lead dogs, swing dogs, team dogs, and wheelers or wheel dogs. Lead dogs steer the rest of the team and set the pace. Leaders may be single or double, the latter is more common now, though single leaders used to be more common during the mid-20th century. Sometimes a leader may be unhitched to find the trail for the rest of the team, but the practice is uncommon and is not allowed at races. Qualities for a good lead dog are intelligence, initiative, common sense, and the ability to find a trail in bad conditions. Swing dogs or point dogs are directly behind the leader. They swing the rest of the team behind them in turns or curves on the trail. Team dogs are those between the wheelers and the swing dogs, and add power to the team. A small team may not have dogs in this position. Alternatively, the term may be used to describe any dog in a dog team. Wheel dogs are those nearest the sled and musher, and a good wheeler must have a relatively calm temperament so as not to be startled by the sled moving just behind it. Strength, steadiness, and ability to help guide the sled around tight curves are qualities valued in wheelers. Bike joring is dog mushing similar to ski joring, canacross, and dog scootering. A dog or team of dogs attached to a towline a bicycle. Bike joring is a non-snow season, or dryland, activity. Bike joring and canacross probably developed from ski joring and dog sled racing. Bike joring is also sometimes used to train racing sled dogs out of season. An easier and maybe safer alternative to bike joring or dog scootering, especially for use in urban and built-up areas, is to attach a dog to the side of a bicycle using a number of designed dog bicycle attachments. However, these patented side attachments are designed to allow a dog to run beside a bicycle, rather than to pull it from a head. These patented dog bike attachments usually include some sort of shock absorption, usually a spring. Some of these side attachments can be fitted either side of a bicycle so that two dogs can be exercised at the same time. Examples of these dog bicycle attachments are the walkie dog, springer, bike jor converter, and more recently the bike joring attachment. Dog scootering uses one or more dogs to pull a human riding an unmotorized kick scooter. It is similar to mushing, which is done in the winter, but generally with fewer dogs and with a scooter instead of a dog sled. The dogs wear the same harnesses that sled dogs wear, and are hooked to the scooter with a gang line. The gang line usually incorporates a bungee cord to smooth out the shocks of speeding up and take off. Dog scooterers get together for fun runs, where a number of dog scooterers run their dogs and scooters on the same trails. Fun runs may be just a morning run or can be a weekend-long activity with multiple runs scheduled. This is still a maturing activity, but there are a few formal dog races that include scooter events. Finnmark Slopet in Norway, Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race in Alaska, La Grande Odyssey in France and Switzerland, Yukon Quest in Alaska and the Yukon.